¿Qué tal amigos de Beat 100.9? Estamos en el segundo día de EDC México 2023. El día de hoy invitado el cual va a estar tocando antes de la ceremonia de apertura del escenario principal, Disco Lines. Man, how are you today? What's good, baby? I'm, I'm fired up. It's a beautiful right. day. How are you doing? Very fun, actually. Excited about all the sets, about all the new music and all the energy that the people is bringing to the festival. There is a lot of energy here. Everyone's yeah. pretty fired up. There's a lot of energy in Mexico City. I've never been here before, but we, were, we, we just w spent all day yesterday walking around. It's beautiful. I can tell by that by your story with the Mexican wrestling. <laughs> here's, the plan for, here's the plan for today. <laughs> and at first we thought it We were like kind of questioning it, but I was like, bro, we should get Lucha Libre masks because we wanted to go to a wrestling event last night, but we could, we didn't, we weren't able to make it. Uh huh. But I was like, we should get Lucha Libre masks and tackle each other on stage. <laughs> so that's a plan for today. Wait, that's a bring me one. Whoa. <laughs> so basically, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have it on stage, and during Techno and Tequila, I'm gonna put it on, uh -huh. and then my tour manager is gonna put one on too. I don't know how this <laughs> is. We actually don't know how this is gonna work. <laughs> But I'm gonna fucking just tackle the shit out of him <laughs> with this mask on. It's gonna be funny. He's looking excited about yeah, that. He doesn't look too happy. <laughs> Le preguntamos obviamente que qué tal ahorita la emoción, dice que está más que feliz, contento la primera vez que viene a México y que tiene un plan, una sorpresa muy especial para poder estar tocando su sed aquí con máscaras de lucha libre que obviamente va a estar teniendo a su tour manager también listo con toda la emoción y no es un set que no se pueden perder. Man, also your creative process is just unique. You can get It is. creative and well, inspired. Yeah, the thing is you can make music on laptops right now like back then people need to go to studio record stuff on tape machines right now you can make any sound on your computer so i like going to new places i feel like that's the best place for inspiration i used to sit in my basement all day play video games or make music <laughs> and i was not inspired i did not get anything done so like creatively i like going to new places taking my laptop And, and like going on like a full battery and once it's done i'm like done with the song i enjoy so my day now that you touch that topic of the video games what's your favorite video game we have to ask that bro i don't know about you i play a lot of warzone, warzone. a lot of apex yeah what about you you play video um, games more like warzone and fortnite you play fortnite yeah i know i'm that gang so. <laughs> i know i love fortnite i'll it's crank so 90s cool. on you all day motherfucker <laughs> no i don't think that <laughs> we should say that you know oh, yeah. one <laughs> I love the one we want you, yeah. Preguntamos obviamente de cómo es su proceso creativo para las canciones. Dice que prefiere salir a nuevos lugares y que simplemente el flow se deje fluir para poder estar creando estas nuevas canciones. Y que aparte es fan de los videojuegos, Warzone. Yo creo que va a poder hacer un buen streaming con el Nero Salcedo. Vamos a aventarnos un 1v1 acá en Fortnite a ver quién es el mejor. <laughs> so, about your music, what can we expect for your set and for music during this year? Set is a lot of house. I made a dub set song last week, so I'm going to play that today. Yeah. I have no idea how it's gonna go off. I think, it's but it's good. always funny to spice up a set, just like some random yeah. thing out of nowhere. Have Something you have you been following Forte and Fred again at all? Yeah. Do you see that clip where Forte like was just plays that like dub set song out of nowhere? New York, yeah. yeah. House and I'm gonna do that same thing today. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you, and I'm gonna give you advice. Mexican crowd is gonna love that no like, way. change of gender or that random things that you can do. Let's go. The unexpected things. Let's go. Is the things that we love the most. Let's go. <laughs> I'm fired up. Fire, yeah. Le preguntamos que cómo va a estar ese set para el día de hoy. Dice que pues obviamente tiene un set de house preparado, pero que también en algún punto va a cambiar el switch para poder poner algo inesperado. So man, thank you so much. Thank you, bro. So we expect to have you here more often. I would love to come. I love Mexico. This place yes. is beautiful, and it's like only like a few hours away from California. California. Yeah, Such I grew up. City. I grew up in. I was born in San Diego, so it's super easy for me to come down. And dude, the vibes here are amazing. Great food, beautiful people. Can't ask for more. This is your home whenever you want. Exactly. Hopefully. <laughs> Anything that you want to say to your Mexican fans? Thank you guys for listening to my music. Woo! Perfect. <laughs> el está emocionado, listo. Obviamente ama México, la comida. Y los esperamos en el escenario principal en el cual se va a estar presentando el día de hoy. Y mientras, vamos con lo que sí aquí en Beat 100.9. <risa>